Hi guys, this is Asis and you are watching ASP Media. In this video, we will learn about introduction to CSS, CSS property using CSS, line CSS, internal CSS and external CSS. These are the three types of CSS that we will see in this lesson. So let's start. So CSS basically stands for cascading style sheets which is used to format the layout of a web page with css you can control the color font size of the text that we have done already and more we will see in this series the spacing between the elements it is margin margin borders then padding how elements are positioned and laid out what background images or the background colors to be used make responsive pages as you see in this picture different displays for different devices and screen sizes like this is for desktop this is for tablet and this is mobile and much more responsive page this responsive page can be made with the help of css it is css media screens that we will discuss in the later videos in the advanced css just keep in mind that this can be made with the help of css media screens so next move to the css properties so some CSS properties I've mentioned here. Just first one take it as text properties. So property here, text property we can add color, set color of a text. So it can be used as RGB hex keyword and just normal colors. Like we can use line height for set a distance between the lines. Normal, normal numbers, length, percentage. We can give letter spacings, increase or decrease the space between the characters. That is the values are normal length text align we can align as we have done already just left right center justify text decoration we can give underline overline line throw just to add on the decoration to text text indent suppose in a paragraph you want some space like indents for the first line of a text of an element just use text indent and suppose you want to make a heading all capitalized so just use text transform it will capitalize all your words and controls the letter in a element so next we will see the font properties now the normal font properties we have discussed already in the previous videos if you have not watched those videos please watch it and here see some font uh, as we can see here font variant font weight the normal font font family font size we have discussed so let's discuss font variant this font variant specifies whether or not two text should be displayed in a small caps font. Those values can be small caps inherit font weight specifies the weight of a font, how much bold the font will be. Bold, bolder, lighter, 100 and the size depends 100s, 200, 300 and so on. And suppose you want to take a normal inherited. So just use inherit font font weight so so here one note is that careful many of these are not supported so this will create some issues next so come to background properties background just we can add here background image position size background repeat attachment origin clip color so background attachment is used to fix a background image or make a scrollable image background break to bounding the box each box continuously background clips to length the percentage of the size the border border box padding box that is content box and background color we have discussed color it may be transparent that is opacity decreased and background image you can add image through a url in the css that we'll discuss in the next video and background origin background origin uh, we can use a border box padding box content box to background position the background position suppose you want to add a picture on the position to left side or top center or just top right so you can use background position and background repeat if you want to make a background a background image to repeat repeat many times or you want none so just type no repeat and background size so background size will depends uh, you can give auto or just mention it with length or percentage now next box model padding border and margin let's consider that this is a box with the content written inside 
suppose you want to give some spacing uh, in the left side or top or the bottom or right before writing the text just add padding top left right bottom anything where you you where you want as you may give this border so if we want to use gap outside the border suppose uh, starting suppose this is the browser starting position so you want to give here space just use margin left if you want here top in the top just use margin top so what margin will do it will just shrink the given margin top size and this this portion will be printed just below the given size similarly this can be done with margin right and similarly with border right border left this we will see in the example we have done in the previous example just move to that example yes. styles.html just open so just open developer tools f12 just inspect the element suppose i want to take inspect this element home just click on it then you will see here this is the padding uh, this is the content it's 1277 into 337 this 37 is the height and 1277 is the width so and uh, this is the content recent written inside the 1277 and 37 and this portion is the padding portion so here i have not mentioned any padding so it is not showing any effect and border portion i have also not used any border and margin portion is margin the top and the bottom margins are already say it is the default value it is 21.440 is 21.440 and if we inspect the element this download so here also here we will see that it is 1277 into 18 is the content yes padding not used border not used and margin yes the same default margin and if we inspect this border part and this we have used border 2 px dotted so just click inspect this border one and just see is again the content part then padding part not use then if you come here border then you set the size 2 pixel 2 pixel 2 pixel 2 pixel from all side it is 2 pixel and again this is the default one so in this way we can create it and we can check it from here we can check it here so next move to using css using the css can be used in the three three types just inline css internal css and the external css so inline css the inline css is used to apply a unique style to a single html element as this p style background color rgba this we have already done in the previous video so this is quite be easy to understand here and come to internal css and internal css is used to define a style for a single html page you have defined any style in a html page within that html page so it will be accessible within that only that page only you cannot call that css property in the other pages what is the criteria of writing internal css just see it and internal css is defined in the head section of an html page within a style element so suppose you have here, take an example here so here html head so this you may see here exclamation doc type html this signifies this this is html5 you can see here it is used style then here closing text style this is all this all written in inside the head part head element so if we will use the inside the head elements what is the benefit of using this style uh, writing style in a head head element so suppose you want to suppose we have called here h1 so you have we have used here h1 tag so this is heading so what a heading uh, heading here used in the css property that color should be printed in a blue and p color should be printed in a red so this will easily be accessible and suppose this style 
this style is written here uh, just below the p this will not give a proper output because you have called this here this is heading just above the style so first of all this this is heading will print then this is paragraph will print then after that it will see what style is written better to use style in the head head element so how to write styles simply write style element within the head element and suppose we want to suppose we want to give a body a body background color just powder blue we have given just body background color powder blue so we have written a body tag here suppose you want to give your heading one some property we have set so just type h1 color blue and similarly p color similarly p color red so this will work now let's move to external css external css and external sheet style sheet is used to define a style for many html pages benefit we get using the external css just we need to a style file that it will consist all the styles uh, in a single page and just we need to link up in the all the html page where we want to call so here the criteria is one note is there to use an external to use an external style sheet add a link to the head section of the html page and similarly uh, the external style sheet can be written in any text editor yes it must not contain the file must not contain any html code and must be saved with a dot css extensions so css files whenever we whenever you create any css file just save it with dot css extension just take an example example dot html here let's take html head and this link rel style sheet href style dot css so using this code you can easily access the styles that you have written in the styles.css page so what what this link rel means just linking the relationship just linking the relation of style sheet just what you have written in the style just linking this to html page and what is the source file where is the source file present so just you write href reference hyper hyperlink reference equal to just write styles.css as the name of the file is styles so styles.css and it should be written in the head similarly in the previous one just writing anything in the head it's it will be it can be accessed from anywhere now come to body here we have defined body background color yes we have used here body background color powder blue so if you have used here styles this so whenever you write this tag body tag and this body so you need not to write this background color here just it will call the css property that you have written background color equal to powder blue so it will automatically call this and here you have used heading one this is heading and closed so heading property you have colors blue so heading this is heading will be printed in blue similarly the paragraph this is paragraph this is here you have said the paragraph color red so this will be printed in red color in this video what we have seen we have discussed introduction to css we have discussed just what is css means why it is used and what are the scope of using it to make responsive pages then what are the various css properties so text properties font properties background properties then box model that is padding border margin that we have taken an example from the previous section and how css can be used so inline css within the element just writing the style and the css property we can use css property for the beautification purpose and internal css so we is writing styles within the same page same within the same html page so here we have seen that writing styles within the same page cannot be accessed from other page Our next external css so here we have find that this is the best one from other tools because writing one css file we can easily link any html page with that css file so it makes easier to 
call the CSS properties the properties tag names you have used in the style CSS file these are all about basic CSS now the examples related to this CSS will be discussed in the next video so i hope you have got a beginner level knowledge about the css so in the next video we will discuss the examples based on it so thank you thank you for watching it